Welcome to a brief tutorial on Office 365 and how to download it for your home computer. So the first thing you want to do is go to portal.office.com and you'll be welcomed with this screen. You'll have to type in your full email address for our school and once you have it saved then it will just come up here and you'll type in your password. This is your regular password that you use for your computer. Once you get logged in, your screen should look like this. Um, you're going to see that you can quickly jump to your OneDrive, your SharePoint sites, your Word Online, Excel Online, PowerPoint, or OneNote. Most people like to start with their OneDrive because you can quickly get to creating new documents in Word, Excel, and PowerPoint from the OneDrive. But you'll also notice that you'll have an install button. You aren't going to see this admin one. You'll see an install office for home use. Just click on that and follow the instructions. You can install it on five devices and five computers, including Macintosh computers. If you um, are on the device, it will pick up the right device and install the right version. You'll also see on a PC or Mac, I can install more because I've already installed it. I can install it on more devices by clicking here. So I'm going to jump us out to the OneDrive really quickly. If I click on OneDrive, I'm going to see the documents that I've already created. This is where most people will be starting. You'll click on New, and you can create a new Word document, Excel, PowerPoint, OneNote, or Excel survey. You can also create a new folder. Once you have items already in here, you can click here and then you can edit that document or you could have just double clicked to edit it. You can manage the document, for example, delete it, or view the properties, view in a browser, and you can also share that document. You can share the document once you open it up as well. You'll also notice over here on the left that if anybody has shared something with you, if you click on shared with me, then you will see just the items that somebody else created and has now shared with you. That's just a very brief overview of Office 365. Um, also, I just want to tell you if you are in a document and you need to get back to your drive, you want to click on your name. When you click on your name, it will jump you back out here to your drive. I hope that helped you get started with Office 365.